was a woman watching her daughter going to a party. And while this girl was dressing, she didn't put any drawers on. And she looked at her and said, hey, girl, ain't you going to put on some drawers going to a party? She said, hell no, it ain't cool. What am I going to do with drawers? You go upstairs and talk to your grandmother. See what she say about it. She might not like it, and I won't let you go nowhere. This little girl ran up to her grandmother and said, Grandma, if you was going to a party and had a chance to get kissed, would you wear a veil? <laughs> it was a little boy in school. And while he was in school, the teacher looked at him and said, young man, what is the most important thing in the world to you? He said, fuck. <laughs> she said, what, fuck? <laughs> I like to fuck. <laughs> she said, why, you little nervy rascal, you. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send you home to your father. And I'm going to give you a letter and make you take it to him. And when you come in the morning, you better bring me an answer. He said, I'll do it, but I don't care. I like to fuck. <laughs> so he goes on home. The next morning, he come in school. The teacher looked at him and said, hey, Willie. He said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> said, did you give that letter to your father? He said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> did he just send an answer? He said, no, ma'am. <laughs> said, why? said, my father told me anytime a chick don't like to fuck, she'll suck a dick and he don't correspond to them guys. <laughs> Cinderella told her mother, says, mother, says, I got a date with the king. Now, I would love to go to the party. Can I go? So her mother said, now, listen, the last time you was at that party, you came back with your dress off, your shoes off, and didn't have on no Brazil. <laughs> now you don't act like a lady and I'm not gonna let you go. And you stayed away until three o'clock in the morning. She said, oh mother, please let me go. The king have decided. She said, all right, if the king gonna let you go, I'll tell you what, you can go, but you be home at two o'clock. If you don't be home at 2 o'clock, I'm going to turn your pussy into a pumpkin. <laughs> she said, all right, mother. So she went on to the party. 12 o'clock, she hadn't got back. 2 o'clock, she hadn't got back. 3 o'clock, she hadn't got 4 o'clock in the morning, yet she come. She said, fuck the mother said, God, where you been? <laughs> Thought I told you to be home at 2 o'clock. What did the king say after I turned your pussy into a pocket? <laughs> she said, well, I wasn't with the king. She said, but well, who was you with? She said, I was with Peter the pumpkin eater. <laughs> I know a woman walked in her bedroom and caught her husband in the bed with a midget woman. She looked at her husband in the bed with this midget woman with tears in her eyes. She said, I thought you told me you don't quit all that old stuff. He didn't stop doing what he was doing. He just looked over his shoulders. He said, hell, you can see I'm cutting down. Times is tight. A friend of mine walked out of his house and left his wife with six kids. The only way she knew to make her living was get out there in the streets and bump heads with the rest of the girls. She get out there and she hit on this man, that man, everybody turned her down. Finally, her popped the spook. 
She hit on him with all the strength she had. She said, honey, would you care to have a little fun? He said, damn right, I want to have some fun. He went on with the woman. They started taking off their clothes. He reached and grabbed his pants and pulled them back up. Said, wait a minute, hell, we ain't got together. How much? She said, $100. He said, woman, you a fool's hell. I ain't never given a woman $100 in my life. She said, listen, baby, if you give me $100, I give you a trip around the world. He said, I'll tell you what, I give you $20 and you stop me in San Diego. <laughs> Times is tough. Things so rough, this hotel I'm living in, I saw a cat had a rat hustling cheese. <laughs> I'm driving down the street the other night in the car with my wife. She's doing the drive and I'm laying up there half asleep. She hunched me in my side. She said, Leroy, wake up, baby. Wake up, wake up. The brakes done went out. Well, Leroy, what am I gonna do? I said, brace yourself and run into something cheap. <laughs> kids are smart. When I was a child and you was a child, it wasn't nothing but a bunch of squares. Our teachers that taught us in schools, they were square as hell. Because the first thing that they would teach us was ding dong dell, pussies in the well. <laughs> My brother got drowned in looking for it. <laughs> we would have saved him, but he went in head first. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. Fuck her, let her stay up there. <laughs> so we had a cat down the house, catch all the rats, got some lazy rats run all over him. Other day, grandpa went in the bathroom to shave, reach up for the soap, knocked a bottle of castle on the floor. Old cat was so lazy, wouldn't move out the way. Just lay there and licked up all the cats down. Now he's the busiest cat in the neighborhood. <laughs> Got nine cats working for him. <laughs> three digging, three covering up, and three looking for new territory. <laughs> I feel pretty good. I got up this morning, got in the shower, stayed for two hours. Sure felt good. Woo. Feel that good tomorrow, I'm gonna turn the water on. <laughs> I don't bathe when it's cold, I dry clean. <laughs> the hell, what is it I know what it'll do to me? You see that guy sitting right there? Now, he just got married. And I got to tell you why he met his wife. Now, he met his wife in the hospital. No, no, no kidding. You know, yeah, he met his wife in the hospital. And there he was, he was sick in bed. You know, he had one of them things where you get them shots around the clock. You know, every time you toot your ass up, bam, they hit you again. <laughs> oh, baby, all night long, he was so damn mad. He said, when that nurse come in here again, he said, I'm gonna tell her something. The nurse walked in, she said, time for your shot. He said, that's all you say, God damn it. He said, it's time for your shot. He said, how in the hell would you like for somebody to stick you in your ass three times a day? She said, I love it, so they got married. <laughs> We were falling the other night like mad, and my dear friend was having a few, and he was feeling really in there. He said, booty. I said, yes, old buddy. He said, man, I've had a few. Could you please show me to the restroom? I said, yes, you just go right around that corner, and there it is right there. He said, thanks a lot. And he went around there, and so I had a few more myself, and I miss my old buddy. I'm not going to know. I said, Jim, are you in there? He said, I'll be out in a minute, man. I said, what's wrong? And I opened the door and went in. I said, man, what's the matter with you? He said, man, what kind of restroom is this? He said, no, I almost killed myself when I flushed it. I said, what do you mean? You almost kill yourself when you flush it. I said, hell, you sitting on the damn mop bucket, man. 